I'm going to show you how to use Dragon's Approach, like a real Magic player. All right, so our commander is queen. This, this isn't important. She's not important for the deck. We'll, we'll get to her later. Okay, so Dragon's Approach, this is what the deck is about. We're going to be doing stuff with Dragon's Approach. Don't worry about the other thing. We'll get to that. Okay, so Dragon's Approach, don't worry about that first part. It says deal three damage to each opponent. That's, not, that's flavor text. We don't worry about that. This is what we really care about. It says you may exile Dragon's Approach and four other cards named Dragon's Approach from your graveyard, and if you do, search your library for a dragon card and put it onto the battlefield then shuffle so we can get any dragon card we want so if we just put that out exile it bam dragon like tiamat it, technically not this one though because we only have boros colors but for example okay so dragon's approach it can have any number of them in the deck so we'll put 27 of them in there just to be sure okay and i know what you're saying but noah you got five dragon approaches that's 15 mana this card, Dracuseth, only costs 7 mana. But Noah, 15 minus 7, that's 8 extra mana per dragon we're going to summon. This is a horrible deal. Why would we ever do this? Well, you're right. Dragon's Approach sucks, and it's a horrible card. But we can make it good. Behold, the key to our victory. <laughs> no, wrong card. Necrolo no, still wrong. Gaia's... My that's not even the right color. Bethel's okay, it's getting warmer. It's the right color, still not right though. Okay, Queen Kaya, bing bong. Alright, there we go. So Queen Kaya has this ability which discards all the cards in our hand, and then we draw that many cards. So then let's say we have a bunch of dragons approaches in our hand. We tap her, these cards go to the graveyard. So then the next time we activate a dragon's approach, we have dragon's approach in our graveyard. So then it all just works out and we can get another big dragon. Like, but they're both Drither Bloom. Still, still not legal because we're Boros colors, but I, I'm just doing it for the example. But what dragons are we going to put in the deck? Well, thank you for asking, voices in my head. So basically, here's we got Yosek the Morning Star, who pretty much is just good at screwing over at one player. Then we got Ancient Gold Dragon, who's just really fun and good. These are the only white dragons in the deck. All right, then we have Velomachus Vlorhold, whose ability, when he attacks, lets us activate a dragon's approach in our deck to get out another dragon, which is really good. No spite dragon, uh, which then, when he enters the battlefield, we discard a hand and draw cards equal to the damage we deal to a target opponent. So if we use dragon approach, we're going to get at least three cards drawn, which we can probably get even more. Then we got Dracuseth. He's big. Uh, dragon Mage, he's going to discard our hand and draw seven cards. That's great for Dragon's Approach. Uh, and then we got Hellcorn Bite, which is the same thing but worse. Then we got this guy who's okay, and he was the last card picked, so he's probably the worst dragon here. Just like me. <laughs> Am I right, guys? Last picked. <laughs> anyway, anyways, moving on. We got Hellrazer, which, you know, is good with... I'm not going to explain that one, so he's like a worse version of Velomachus. Oh, yeah, we got Backdrive Hellkite, same thing. Uh, let's see how we'll make these dragons happen, though. Wheel of Fate, that discards our hand and then draws seven, which is great. Faithless Looting, which we can flash back when it's in our graveyard, or we can do that thing. And then Magus of the Wheel, which is essentially the same as Wheel of Fate. I, God, this side just pisses me off. I hate this slide. I hate it so much. It's, I hate it. Anyways, we got this pretty much. This helps us play all the cards we discard with his ability. You can read it now. Anyways, Surly Badgesaur. It's really good. It's a very powerful card. Thrill Discovery, same thing. Hellfire Duelist. This is going to make it so that whenever we cast a Dragon's Approach, it heals us for 9 health, which is pretty good. Then we got Plarg. Uh, we got Swords of Plowshares and Chaos Warp. These are both really good removal. Also, there's like five white cards in this deck, because white sucks as a color, and this is the last one, I think. Okay, Neheb Dreadhard Champion, and then light up the stage, T-Rex, just a Dreadma. Anyways, Blasphemous Act, Mana Geyser, Reforge the Soul, Triangle. And then we got Sunbird's Infig- Hey! Wait, that's not a triangle! Yeah! Get him! Yeah, that'll teach him not to be a triangle! Hey, good work, boys. Next round's on me. Okay, then we got Lockett of Yesterday's, Hobaga Holding, Solarong, Swiftfoot Boat, uh, Convicken, Felwar, Borosic, Please Stop, No, Thrum and Stone, Arcane Signet, <laughs> Commander Sphere, and then here's the land mana base. Okay, uh, hit that subscribe button if you like triangles.